All right. What is going on, everybody? We are here for the weekly live stream. Come on down. We're talking USM Credenza. We're talking Roto Pencils or Rot Ring Pencils. Let me find the drop list right here. I'm so tired this morning, guys. I'm, I apologize. But nevertheless, we are live and alive, feeling good, feeling great. And my camera is not showing. Um, control Alt. What was it? Shit. Control Alt C. Is that it? I'm not quite sure. There it is. Boom. Look at that. Hot keys. I can't remember them. I seriously need to write those down. But yeah, here we are. Releases in 17 minutes. I'm honestly up in the air right now about the um, the Rot Ring pencil, the pen. I actually really do enjoy a nice pen. I use a pen every single day at work. I keep multiple journals for just daily notes and kind of planning. And there's really something to be said about a nice pen. This one I actually bought replacement cartridges for, or like the actual individual pen. I copped like a, a $5 set of rechargeable, like reusable pens for this ballpoint pen right here. I just love the way it has a flashlight on it and just the way it's shaped. I'm really digging the, the rut ring pencil. I did look it up on Amazon though. Let's see, and 600 and it's about the same price. This one right here, I don't know if that's the six, this is the three in one right here. So you can get different colors. Like obviously Supreme is not doing too much with this. Like they take the technology from obviously Rot Ring and just put their branding on it. I want to see if we do have an actual other color. I swear I looked at the other one, but they look very similar. Almost exactly the same. And then if we go over, I think Drops by J had some other pictures of it. Yeah, so there's the three in one pen. And I really do think it's only one pen because three in one describes one singular pen. And these are the different tips. So that's the mechanical pencil, maybe. That's the black and then the red ink. So, I mean, it's pretty cool. I thought it was funny that he had the, the transparent layer from Photoshop just left on this Supreme logo. Look at that, I like. I like that. But yeah, guys, shout out to Supreme Drops for always coming through on the, the drop list. He's actually thinking about um, putting together a podcast. So I'm trying to get on that. We'll see what happens with it. If you haven't checked it out already, I had a discussion with him. Um, oh, guys, just saw your, just saw your messages. Um, I am not going for anything today. Lego, I wish I was going for the drawer, but... I cannot afford $3,000 set of furniture. <laughs> Quite unfortunately. You bet the Supreme branding going to chip off very easily. Yeah, bird up on the pen. It definitely will. On, I don't know if you're talking about this, but on anything that's like plastic and printed on like water bottles and uh, the chopsticks. If you ever get Supreme chopsticks, do not wash them in the dishwasher. I did that and the Supreme on the ends of them completely ripped off and now they're just a red pair of chopsticks that I just have to tell myself. Hey, I know they're Supreme chopsticks. Yes, I did, Rashab. I did. Y'all sleep it on Gonzo Poem? Yeah, dude, honestly, it's just not my style. 
but I'm glad that you like it. I don't know if other people saw, but the Kurt Cobain sweater is coming soon. Hopefully next week. I think that would be pretty sick. We do have this guy rocking it. I don't know if this dude is affiliated with Supreme or how he got it, but uh, I wish they dropped this like week one, you know, when it was still cold outside. But uh, interesting. Very interesting. Copping that, got the Gons camp. Nice, dude. Yeah, I think in terms of the apparel this week, I'm gonna turn this down just a little bit, lo fi girl. Sorry. In terms of the apparel, I do think the hat is one of the best pieces. Like, I, I've kind of come around to this Western kind of cut and sew design, but it's just not for me personally. Like, I also do like this needlepoint short sleeve, pu not polo, but just like short sleeve shirt button up, I should say. But for 158, it's just a little bit tough. And I have been wanting to get a pair of Supreme shorts for a long time. I've really only had one. I actually had the uh, the Nike Foam Posit shorts. Supreme Foam Posit, Nike Foam Posit shorts. If you actually look at my channel, guys, I did a review of this, of these shorts. Back when I was like a wee lad. Let's see, sup, Thomas, Supreme shorts review. There it is. I think I might have covered this in my channel before, but it's really funny. So as you can see, you got the all over golden ribbon print. That's popular on the thumbs. I got the fucking schoolboy Q playing in the background. In the back. Just at my dad's house. Back pocket with the zipper. So yeah, we've been doing this for a while, guys. Come on now. Just white strings. Yeah, it did, Jay. I thought that was crazy. I got super lucky with that video. I um I was able to hit the shock drop on the on the Jordan 1 Spider-Mans. And the shoes literally shipped from me to from I think they shipped from Indiana to Arizona in like two days oh what's up Bo hey dude thanks for stopping by good to see you in the chat so yeah that was a super interesting um kind of series of events I think it it really helps to get those shock drops early and to do an unboxing and it was really fun because I mean when I started kind of YouTubing guys I was mostly doing sneaker reviews so it was neat to see, to be able to do a shoe like that, that got some attention and actually, yeah, that was fun to edit, got some attention and had people asking about it, stuff like that. It's good stuff. So yeah, be sure to comment or not just comment, like the stream. Let me know what you guys are going for. It's kind of a sleeper week, but there's also kind of really good stuff. Like when I look at the USM credenza, I think, you know, long term, this thing will probably do well. It could also like not sell out immediately because it's expensive. I just think the people that normally would buy this probably aren't as affected by the economy and stuff right now than people that could maybe stretch for it and maybe try to cop it. Certainly people that are, if you're trying to cop this to flip in like a week, I do not recommend that at all. If it's something that you would like to keep for a long time, five years or something, perhaps, it just really depends because sometimes an item like that, it does slowly increase in value, but it's only by like $50 a year. And at that point, you're already net negative 
2000 almost sorry $3000 and one of the things guys that I've learned from watching this guy called reserved investments on YouTube really want to plug this channel I get a lot of information from Sean here if you guys have any interest on antiques collectibles which supreme is considered a collectible watch this guy's channel learn something about the market it's super intriguing but one of the things he constantly says is antiques and collectibles are very illiquid so that means if you have three thousand dollars into this credenza you have to find someone that will buy it for more or what you pay for to get your money back and that's a very illiquid asset. So obviously like if you're doing any kind of investing and reselling anything like that, like make sure you actually have real <laughs> stock and bond investments. Like don't just expect clothes and shoes to pay for you forever. But that's the end of that rant. What's up guys? Sweater run large. Um Jay, I'm not sure what you're talking about. Are you talking about the the Gons poem sweater or like the Kurt Cobain sweater? I really don't know. Let's see. If the Clarks would sell, I was surprised when the Martins did. Yeah, dude. I wonder too. I think... I think they will sell out. I don't think it will be instantly. I think the first item to sell out this week, guys, let's do a prediction. I'd love to see if I can run a poll. I have no idea how to do that though. Cause again, I'm a streaming boomer. Yeah, I don't know how to do that. But um, I think the pen will because it's cheap and it's you know there's multi functionality with it you could use it for a lot of different things a lot of different jobs could use a pen people in school could use a pen i remember my friend got me the supreme calculator for uh, a present one time i thought that was absolutely hilarious i actually don't have it right now i think it's in storage but the supreme cal calculator is very very funny the calculator Gonna pass this week, Elephant. Yeah, dude. Thanks, Manish. What's up, man? Yeah. Yeah, dude, for sure. Save for that, uh... Save for that Kurt Cobain. I think it's pretty sick. Honestly, dude, I agree. The hats are sick. I don't really fuck with the... The Crusher. But the classic logo... Like, you really can't go wrong with it. We'll get into paint right here. So I can zoom in. Yeah, with these, Jay, like, oh, man. I would just go your normal size, maybe a half size bigger. Not a half size. It's not shoes. Maybe a size bigger. Like, if you wear large, go for an XL. It definitely won't hurt. And at the end of the day, I think if even if it was, like, too big or something, you could probably find someone to trade with. But here's the thing that I always think about. Better to buy it. A size too big than a size too small you know you could always run it on hot do something with the drying process to make it shrink a little bit you can't make clothes grow absolutely deborah needle point is a must grab dude i actually like the needle point it's like it's something that i wish i would wear <laughs> in my wardrobe more often but i typically kind of stray away from that kind of embroidery you know like more less casual i guess like i'm more of a t-shirt guy which is you know i'm caught up in the old the old streetwear habits of 2016 but that's where i like to stay it's where i feel comfortable got this starbucks mug recently guys tumblr 400 stars just wasting my money but goddamn i do love a starbucks cold brew shit is fire and there's one literally when I say like a quarter mile down the street, I mean like maybe. It's so close. It's insane. Wish it was a local coffee shop way more. And this is my own coffee. I still make my own coffee every morning. Obviously. You have to. The new cold brew? No, I haven't. There's a new cold brew at Starbucks. New cinnamon. Ooh. I've done their Irish cream cold brew, but guys, this is what I do every day. 
get yourself this right here. Get yourself the Illy Classico whole bean. Always do whole bean, in my opinion. Get yourself an electric coffee grinder. Make it fresh every morning. And I'm telling you, I'm telling you, this shit is, is really good. They also have a really great um, espresso blend, too. I think I might do the Intenso Bold. It's all really good. But that's enough coffee talk. That's not what you guys came here for. U.S., Canada, Starbucks are so different. USA is much better. Interesting, Deborah. I know. I mean, you guys got Tim Hortons up there. So I've always thought Tim Hortons was pretty all right whenever I would visit family in Canada. I can't really complain about it. But yeah, to end that point I was on earlier, guys, if you have any interest in learning about antiques and collectibles, like investing in non like asset, like interesting new different types of alternative asset classes that's the word i was looking for check out reserve investments really cool channel i'll leave it at that because we are getting close to the drop here in uh two minutes i'm debating about the pen i think i'm probably gonna pass though because i just don't need it and this pen is fine and come on does the supreme pen have a flashlight on it come on look at that shit it doesn't it really doesn't tim hortons ha 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 what's going on guys maybe bo's here for the coffee talk i love that dude i mean dude there's so many good coffees out there like i was on that death uh death wish coffee for a bit and that shit just got too crazy i started i started just going nuts what's up everybody yeah, debating on mechanical pencil. Me too. Yo, Bird Up, what's your favorite energy drink? Cause I like, for me, it's like if I'm if I'm working out, I love a bang. One of those 300 milligram caffeine ones. Those are sick. But I'm really partial to just a classic zero sugar Red Bull. Really can't go wrong with that. One minute, guys. Good luck to everybody that's copying. You know, remember. It's just supreme at the end of the day. But I think if you want anything, it's going to be pretty impossible not to cop. I've been thinking about getting some new undies low key. So maybe we grab those. The neon tennis ball joints. And then maybe we look at how much the pen costs. We'll just see. We'll just check it out. Okay. We're just going to check it out. Rain watermelon flavor. Okay. You can legit roast your own beans with a popcorn popper. Fun times. Dude, that's super funny, Bo. I could totally see that. I am not that uh, exquisite with it. I have the uh, the Ninja Coffee Maker. Right? So here we go. It is that time. I'm going to refresh accessories. There's the Rot Ring Pencil. 58 bucks. Includes black and red ballpoint inks with five... 0.5 millimeter mechanical pencil additional blue refill included so that's six in one or six that's four in one i guess it's three pens in one but uh is this the move guys what are we doing here 90 bucks for underwear and a pencil it just doesn't make sense to me 600 dollars shipping fee is that for the is, are you serious dude for the uh, credenza Let's look at it. $600 shipping fee. $29.98. So I guess Supreme Drops was right with the partial drop list when he said it was going to be like $3,400. $3,500. Or $3,200 was his guess. So, I mean, after taxes, what does that equal? Got the black camp cap. Nice, dude. That's sick. I think I'm going to pass this week, guys. I really do. There's just nothing that screams I need it. And when that happens, I know there's no like really, really nice resale chance. So I'm just, eh. Yeah, dude, the poems hat is sick. I've really only been familiar with Gons from the stuff he's done with Supreme. Like I'm not as read up as I should be. 
So like, I don't know if these poems are like well known outside of this collab. Like if this is something he did actually for this, you know, collection, or if this is a piece that he's done in the past and like Supreme was like, hey, we'd love to collab with you on this uh, thing you did in the past. So I really don't know. Water bottle still available. Chair still available too. Interesting. That credenza though, $600 shipping. So I guess the move is to buy that in person then, huh? And just uh, completely skip out on that. I think it's really dope though. I'm a big fan. A W on the white needle point. That rocks, dude. I'm gonna go check them out. Let's go see. Let's see if I can just go through this that guy right here. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I think the white one is really sick. I love the back too with the Supreme like bubble font. It's a very fun kind of like 60s alternative. I don't know. I love the font. Do we have any sellouts? Any guesses, guys? Oh, let's look at the Clarks. There we go. Okay, all still available. We will see. Premium suede upper and vamp with suede applique, leather lining, and co-branded footbed with natural crepe sole. Made exclusively for Supreme. I mean, they're definitely something. Oh, that's the size of your shoe is on the tongue. That's kind of interesting. I mean, it's high quality. I don't think the yellow and reds will do very well, but I'm assuming the black and the tans will sell out eventually. Who knows? Have we ever seen a shoe not sell out and then go on sale? Yeah, we're getting any of these Supreme pants. I'm interested in the baggy ones. Yeah, I had a pair of Supreme cargo pants from like 2016. Um, but I haven't copped since then, to be honest. So I would just order. I really want these flight pants and they're still available. So I'm waiting for these guys to go on sale personally and then copping these hopefully with the postseason sale. But what exactly is your question? Red shirt selling out. Yeah. I feel you, Devin. It's so smart. If like if there's a piece that you want, you don't need it. You just kind of want it. Like the potential of waiting for the sale this year, I feel like it's it's a very good move. Like it's just crazy. Like what Supreme is doing with their quantities and just I don't know. I think a lot of uh, factors are affecting why Supreme sits these days. But overall, I think it'll it'll get better in the future. Red shirt selling out. You talking about this guy? I don't know. You're talking about Rashib. I'm sorry, or Rashab. I do not know what you are talking about. Red shirt. Let's see. Is anyone know what's selling out? Is is this guy? This guy? Maybe. No. No table in UK. You're shitting me. The pen is gone. Really. Oh yeah, look at that. Well, there it is, guys. The pen was the item to cop. It was the item to cop. It seems like that's really the only thing that's consistent is the accessories. Like the cheap ones that are kind of cool. I think that's kind of the thing that people are like, okay, this is something that it's neat. It kind of applies to everyone that's a fan of Supreme. It doesn't really matter what exactly your style is for a pen, obviously. So that's pretty cool. 58 dollars for a pen is wild. I mean, dude, not really, to be honest. Like when it comes to any kind of like mid to high level pens, like that's about what you're looking at. I mean, there's pens that are hundreds of dollars. We look at what this uh you can get the regular one, non-supreme branded for like 40 bucks. This is a 22% off. So 
I mean, if you guys really want these pens, like you can obviously scoop them up, put a Supreme sticker on it, just carve into it, whatever. Like there's definitely pens you can get for a cheaper price, but that's pretty much what they, what they cost. So honestly, the Supreme tax isn't awful. Yeah, and that pen will last for a long time. You can always refill it and uh, stuff like that. Yeah. No, when it comes to cheap pens, I'm a huge, um, this actually isn't the right pen. I'm a big Pilot G2 fan. When it comes to just cheap kind of uh, off the counter pens, but the purple knife, is that like been released yet, Jay? But yeah, when it comes to pens, you got to get the uh, the Pilot G2 if you're looking for a cheap pen. Yeah, look, dude, I can't tell you how many Supreme water bottles I've lost. I lost the clear Supreme water bottle in um, class one time. I lost the Nalgene. I lost the last one that came out in 2020. When I was moving, I lost my Supreme flask. I lost my Supreme um, fan. I had the Supreme undercover fan. I think it was the undercover fan. Um, was it though? What was the Supreme fan called? Supreme fan. Yeah, I lost this thing. Oh yeah, the Sasquatch fabric folding fan. I had this guy. I might cop it again, to be honest. It's pretty sick. Spring Summer 16. What did this release at? Dude, 59 bucks is a steal. Um, yeah. Should have gone for the Black Dew Rag last week. Yeah, dude, the Coogee collab was kind of low-key sick. What's it selling for now? And word up, Jay. We'll, uh, let me look at that knife really quick. Oh, yeah. These are pretty sick. And they look pretty useful, like pretty small. Little utility knife. I'll probably cop the, uh, either the black or the red one. I usually kind of lean towards the red Supreme stuff, but maybe purple's the move for me too. Supreme Kuji, let's look at it. Do rag. Retail 48. 100 bucks. Look at that. Kuji Trucker. 368. Eh, 400, 500. And the baggy jeans. 198. Looking at about 300 for certain sizes. I think you could wait though. Wait for these people to try to sell these. And then my favorite, the basketball jersey. Always my favorite items, like the least valuable, which is funny. 178, anywhere from 210 to uh, 300 bucks. This is all the Supreme Coogee stuff. And the shorts, look at these tan ones. 168, now 230. So definitely a decent collab to pick up. If you were looking to flip, um, I like revenge. Um, dude, I haven't looked at revenge in so long since they came out. What is their website? Um, yeah, I just never got into it to be honest. So yeah, I like this stuff though. It's definitely sick. I love their logo. It's very dope. Yeah, like once clothing like this was coming out, like I feel like it was, um, it was definitely around, but I just never got into it. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, it's like Tentacion. I remember him wearing it. Yeah, I just never got into it. I don't know. I think it's sick, though. I just kind of stick to Supreme. <laughs> what do I expect the retail for Kurt sweater to be? Judging by what the prices have been this season, I estimate it's probably between $158 and $200.
It just depends on that material that they're using. And it's probably only one color. So yeah, maybe 168, that'd be a good price. What did the other sweater sell for this week? Let's look. Anything else sell out? So this Gons is kind of like a very simple, just like stitch design. But if we look at the actual Kurt Cobain sweater, it's more of that like um, quilted look. Such a sick piece, honestly. I can't cop it guys though. I'm just, I never listened to Nirvana that much. And I'd feel like such a poser. Like, should I even go for it to like resell? Cause I feel bad. Yeah, it's knit, knitted and printed. Yeah, dude, it'll be probably 200 bucks. Just the one thing. Oh, what's up, Jay? Started designing for my own brand that won't come out anytime soon, but I might get hats made. I'll show you them when I get them done in some of my designs, dude. That is so cool, man. If you ever want to come on the channel, the live stream, talk about your brand or just talk about anything, you guys are all welcome. Like if you're in my chat, you're talking, you like Supreme, I'm happy to have you on if that's something you're interested in. But yeah, dude, that is dope. I have done uh nice, Andrew. Yeah, Stone Island is really cool. I actually got into this brand a little bit. Uh, have you guys ever heard of... Uh, what is it called? Snow Peak. It's kind of like the Japanese North Face. And they're such a cool camping brand. Their shit is so expensive though. Like this like little campfire set is so cool. And their clothing is super interesting too. Um, let's look at their apparel. I actually copped these like Japanese Gata sandals, like the wooden sandals from them. I can actually pull them out if you guys want to see them. They're so fucking funny. But yeah, super sick, like, outdoors brand that definitely is worth getting on sale at the end of the year type stuff. But it's definitely like, yeah, it's got this unique kind of like modern Japanese look to it mixed with like kind of outdoors essentials. It's all very functional experience. It's, um... Yeah, it's, it's like rooted in, yeah, outdoor stuff. Camping. It's super interesting. Heck yeah, Bo. Dude, they have some neat stuff. I got their uh, chopsticks. They have these camping chopsticks that are really sick. And you can like unscrew them and screw them back together. Let's see if I can find them. Chop stick. Yeah, these ones right here. The Wabuki chopsticks. All of it's super lightweight. So like if you really wanted to bring these camping, you could like tie them onto your bag, tuck them in the carrying case, break them apart, like unscrew them. And a lot of their stuff is titanium. So that's why it's expensive. So it's like, if you really wanted to do that super lightweight camping stuff, you can do it. Uh, do I like Arteryx? Dude, I, my friend used to always have an Arteryx backpack. So I thought they were always pretty cool. But once they became super popular, I kind of did the thing where I was like, I can't get into it now. It was either I was into it at the time. I never went and got it. And I just, I can't do it guys. Like the same, I'm the same way with Carhartt right now. I just can't do it. It's just too trendy for me. Um, even though I do love outdoorsy, I love tech wear. For me, if I'm ever going to get tech wear, it's going to be Y3. That's just who I am. I've been into the brand a long time. I just, I don't know. I feel like I should give myself the opportunity to, to check out new brands and stuff. Like maybe start with their kind of essentials stuff. But uh, I don't actually buy a ton of clothes like for personal use every single day. Like, I know, I know I cover Supreme every week and I love collecting Supreme, but I don't actually like buy expensive stuff to wear like every single day. I kind of have my, my classic items. 
<laughs> Your message got held for review, Jay. That's funny. Um, yeah, that's funny. Carhartt. Yeah, dude. I mean, Carhartt is great for like workwear, but just rocking the Carhartt beanie. I mean, do what you want, guys. I'm not going to talk shit if you buy trendy clothing. It's not a big deal. And also, if you can find these on sale, oftentimes like I'll see brands or like those one Twitter accounts that just tweet out like Amazon deals. I saw a way that you could get these pocket tees or they're like classic tees for like $5 each and people ordered like hundreds of them to like resell at like $10. So, I mean, there's definitely stuff to get for all brands. But for me, ooh, what's on sale with Y3? Oh, it's just Adidas, damn it. Teasing me. All right, guys, I might be ending this stream a little bit early today. I do kind of have to get back to work and I am pretty tired, but all final questions. Oh, drops got the crux price wrong, 198, 20 bucks higher than expected. Yeah, dude, that's tough. I don't know how he gets his prices. I'd love to talk to him. But I think it would have been a lot better and more likely to sell for what? 168, 178, like 200 bucks for these. You know, it's a little much. But yeah, I do love I do love talking about other brands and having you guys um, bring them up. Yeah, bird up. You, you were saying that last time. The work in progress. I also covered Palace for the first time this week. It got like decent attention, better than my fucking <laughs> video I did yesterday, which that was not a great video, I admit. What is their lookbook? Let's see what they got cooking up right here. That is crazy. This is insane when you think about what Carhartt like used to be. This is actually super dope. Those jeans are so funny. Wow. I mean, there's definitely solid stuff here. I do kind of want to get a pair of baggy pants eventually. Because I feel like I do have to kind of bite the bullet with that one. There have been some that are pretty cool. You found an LVT that I love, but don't know if I can justify 1K for a shirt. Ooh. What shirt was it, Andrew? Yeah, that's tough, man. Getting into Louis Vuitton. If if I was to get into Louis Vuitton, low key I would find like something vintage. But the problem with Louis Vuitton, and I'd probably get like a like a like a wallet or something. The problem with Louis Vuitton is you really need to be uh, good at authenticating. Like you guys think there's any chance this is fucking actually authentic? Twenty six dollar. <laughs> Louis Vuitton bag on uh, eBay. Now you can tell by the, the laces, I think. Those look like fucking shit. And the stitching is really bad. It's tough, man. You gotta be careful out there. The black and gradient, black and white gradient tee. Is that a new design? Let's see if I can search that up. Louis Vuitton black and white gradient. Ooh. Yeah, dude, it's um It's up to you what things cost or what things are worth. Um I think for Louis Vuitton, man, you really have to utilize them less as uh yes i agree jay goyard was wallets are fire when i look at goyard and, and louis vuitton I, I i tend to look at what they're best at and that is their their luxury bags and it is something that is more expensive but it's something that is it's just worth it's just worthwhile right like it's a louis bag is something that will retain its value if you keep it in good condition for a long time it's something that won't go out of style. You know, black monogram 
is just in at the higher level for uh for women's bags the hermes um the hermes what is it called the birkin bag birkin handbags are like crazy um like if you ever get to this level where you can afford to get one of these like it's type of thing where you have to know someone just to buy that bag but birkin bags are some of the highest like highest quality investments to make in uh in fashion because they only go up in price pretty much and just to get in on a used bag is like it's usually like nine grand eight grand just to get started just to get started with this pink one and then maybe they'll let you get a new one for fucking 25 30 000, whatever it costs crazy stuff crazy stuff any other final questions guys before i hop out of here we'll take one last look at the old web store see what sold out yeah they it is man if you can afford it too like definitely don't stretch yourself too thin um but something like that is like if you got a louis vuitton uh overnight bag for luggage you wouldn't need another bag for 20 years until you needed until you wanted one right but at a certain point it's like why would you want more you know you got the good one get the matching set i always think it's cool whenever like uh i watch a car review video on youtube i watch a lot of like motorsport and car content and they, i see the the custom made like ferrari and porsche hand handbags and luggage that like fit neatly into the trunk. I always thought that stuff was super cool. Oh wow, look at that. Bucket hats. The straw crusher. That is shocking. I was not expecting that to be one of the items to sell out. Especially when that traditional denim crusher is still available. Interesting. USM credential credenza still sitting. What's up, Scott? We're actually just about to end the stream, but if anyone has any final thoughts, questions, concerns, we're talking multiple brands. We're talking Louis Vuitton handbags, Snow Peak, Carhartt work in progress, or Carhartt whip. Just picked up Tan Crusher and Tan Gons Cap. Nice, dude. Tan, tan straw crusher, tan gons cap, black and blue gons caps. Dude, you went crazy. I think those are all solid pieces to pick up, to be honest, bro. So Scott went nuts. Um, flipping resale or uh, flipping real estate asked, does anyone, did anyone receive the trucker Kuji or does anyone have it for sale in the chat? I did not cop the Kuji and eBay prices look to be expensive right now, but, uh, yeah, look out for it. Gone stuff still sitting Cla classic logo still sitting. That's crazy. All cotton canvas too. All right, guys. That's going to do it for today. I hope you all enjoyed watching the stream. Stay tuned to the channel. You know, going to have Supreme News coming out every single week. And I am branching out into more content. So if you didn't see the videos this week, I did this video on um, Palace, I should say right here. I tried to do an information release video. I will try this type of thing again. It might be better off as a short, but like sneaker news, I might start getting into that a little bit still finding my format and what like works the best but guys thank you so much for all the support i mean i was talking about we hit 800 subs like two weeks ago or last week or whatever and now we're at eight, almost 850 so partnership is coming soon and uh, i'm super excited because it's 54 instead of the usual 48 was that the uh oh gotcha I didn't even realize that, Scott, on the price of that old hat. 
of that new hat. Interesting. That makes sense, I guess. Yeah, times are tough. So guys, stay safe, be well. We're uh, logging off for today. So thanks for coming out and peace out.